get to phase two, you are still going to be in a pretty good position going into it with a clean slate. So looking at some of the action that we just saw, you guys see Kokomo really controlling the set and controlling the flow between these two. Feng Wei was pretty much on the accelerator the entire time. Yeah, like the John kept trying to find an answer. Sidestep left block, sidestep left block, but Kokomo just like dashing and keeping up with him and realigning, just not giving him that opportunity. Yeah, just unfortunate for him, but he's going to have some unfortunate time to really think about his loss here, and hopefully that can propel him to go out through on the lower side of the bracket and make it through, because he still has a chance. He yeah. still has a chance, but he has to deal. Uh, Ranchu's waiting down there already as well. That's going to be a tough Scary, one. Scary, man. This this tournament is not easy. Esports World Cup, that $1 million prize pool. These guys have been competing all year long just to qualify for this tournament. Now's their chance to prove it. Yeah, the John qualified from, I believe, the Korea Super he said during his interview too, yeah. right? It's like, he kind of kept revving up after the Ranchu set. Absolutely. And then, and then the next set, you know, the John too, of course, especially with that close set against Ranchu right now, definitely a little bit more warmed up. Sometimes you need a, just some time. Sometimes you just need some time to unleash the beast. Bars. All right, here we go though. Kokoma, looking like he's brought lock. Oh, wait, no. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. That, would, that would be, what we expected. Yeah. All right, locked it in. Are we going to get that one little power up before we finally get in there? Of course. All right. I think it was actually, shout out to Posh Spice. I think Posh is actually the one that got him onto this. <laughs> Clear the nasal passages. Breathe right. Breathing is such an important thing. It is very of, uh, important. <laughs> I wasn't going to say just for the game, but just everything in general. In life. <laughs> you want to yeah. breathe. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> We're gonna go into this. We got Kokomo, we got the John. This is Losers Qualifier out of Group B. Let's see what happens. Ooh, so tense. Both of them just going for the pokes right now. Oh, nice what a great step. step. It could have been much worse. But look at this great adjustment here. He should be able to get a mini sidestep there. Follow Ooh, up into the wall. wall. Sick. What a sick combo. I love off the sidewall Shining Wizards. And that's one of the changes, too. The Rolling Snowball, lower hitbox, so he can use it for Oki like that now. Yeah, and, and for combos. They, they really improved its combo usage in this game as well. But yeah, that, that move in general just got a total buff. It was almost in previous games like a high, high mid. Yeah. Not just that now. It's a, one of the better homing op 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 uh, attacks right by the wall. Yeah, that's a great tool for King. Also, wall splat mid. But yeah, had a big step on the... Yeah. Big opportunities on these whiff punishes, but just tapping them with the one two. Something wow. always better than nothing. And you know, the John is still is playing kind of patient, waiting for opportunities here and there, but it looks like he's moving with a lot more confidence going up against Fangway. Right, and also challenging too, putting out some buttons just in case. Not just letting Kokoma start this poke game that uh, Fang's known for. Okay. That's a great check to go over that forward for neutral two after that block situation there. He's gonna try to mix it up on the on the on the next turn, I'm sure. Whoa, oh, counter hit giant hurt. and he should be dead. Oh yeah, that's it. Just like that. Counter hit giant swing. Still such a tough one to break. Yo, John and the John again. In the, the previous matchup between these two, he got destroyed. But now he is making things very, very interesting. Yeah, missed the punish there on the downpour of one two. Unfortunate for Kokoma. Both of them exchanging pokes right now. Oh, the double low blow. Oh, man, caught him with the delay on the down 4 2 1 off the side. Fixes the axis with the big sidewalk. Oh, just short of the wall. We'll try to get around the smash. Okay. But great defense from the John. The John. This is a complete turnaround from what we saw on the upper bracket. It's wild. You know, his king played. Just so effective, so compact, making everything work. It really forced Kokomo to play outside of his, I guess, his, his comfort zone. Because that is much different from what we saw earlier in the day. Yeah, the John also, like, he's still doing a lot of that sidestep left, sidestep left block yeah. strategy. But he's also putting out sometimes a 1-2, a down forward 2 check, little things like that. And it's really making Kokomo a little bit, uh, it's changing up the matchup from how it was on the upper bracket. Yeah, that's huge. I think that big counter hit down forward 2 early on, mm -hmm. it kind of... It kind of made Kokomo think like, okay, I'm not going to take huge risks. That's a lot of damage here. Not only that, it pushes me towards the wall. I got to be careful. Yeah, that was sick. But the thing is, too, like when Kokomo goes back to his old strategy of kind of being aggressive and sidestepping, he got tossed and he got thrown into the wall. So he, I don't know. He has to be careful either way. 
Oof. Everything working out for the John right now. Ooh, counter hit. The follow-up here. Heat engage. Has him back to the wall. Oh, man. This is scary. Sidestep block from Kokoma. It was a homing move. Still got the breakable wall positioning, but oh, RKO. And the Okazemi with the Ali kick. Yeah, that running king onslaught. Able to land. Unbreakable as well. Did he really need an unbreakable grab? I mean, he has a lot of unbreakable grabs now. I mean, all of the <laughs> crouching grabs are unbreakable, but I mean, did he need that one to be unbreakable? It's pretty cool, though. <laughs> it is super dope. Anyways, here we go. And speaking of Unbreakable. Uh, uh, time to play the game. Yeah, let me pull out my sledgehammer real quick. Oh, my God. Woo! Look at all that damage for that little sequence. Hey. Double shining. Can we get another one? Did he just activate everything being Unbreakable? Because he's not breaking any throws. Oh, my oh God. My he God. wanted another one. Now for the round. Oh, that's okay, one delay. I like it. The, the Ali, Ali kick. Mid, just in case. The yeah. classic. The insurance. The Bombay. I like it. Oh, hot damn. Confident hot me there. I like it. Here we go. We're going to get pushed towards the wall here. That's going to break, break here. Let's see what he does. Shining. And this also carries to the next wall a little bit as well. Ooh, the three piece. We got them all, baby. Be careful how you get up. You do not want to get up wrong here because that could be lights out. Okay, good patience for Kuloma there. But has the low parry scouted. And the wall. This is going to hurt. Off the side. Oh, we're going to break it. And then spend it. Not oh, he missed it. He went for the Running exploder. exploder. Yeah, it's tough, but doesn't matter. Closes it out with the shiny. Gets the run back against Kokoma. And he's going to be qualified off that dub. What an unfortunate turn of events. Kokoma won so easily in their opening set that they played. But again, something just clicked and something has awoken with the John, and he was able to really dominate that, that second meeting between these two. But that's crazy. But Kokoma, unfortunately, out of the tournament now, the John able to qualify out the John in a team. Wow. Yeah, that means that's great. I mean, John was one of your favorites, too. Yeah. Of course, being the only King player here today, really showing us the strengths of the character, but Kokoma trying to figure out how to take out his key. <laughs> <laughs> He's sad. You could tell. Dude, these keys are really cool. That trophy and then how you put the middle piece in there, I think that's really dope. Yeah, dope design for sure. Anyways, Kokoma, unfortunately, out of the event. The great crowd giving it up. Yeah, also a, a fan favorite as well. Yeah, I mean, since the T7 days where we really saw him stepping up the scene, he's been all over the world really representing for Korean Tekken and really showcasing and building up such a, a nice fan base. Uh,